The potential occurrence of a red heifer sacrifice in Israel on March 29th, aimed at summoning the Ad Dajjal, and the destruction of Masjid Al-Aqsa, along with the claim that their Messiah will appear on April 8th, the final day of Ramadan, coinciding with a historic total solar eclipse not witnessed for 375 years, has sparked discussions and speculations within various communities. The ritual of sacrificing a red heifer holds profound significance in Jewish customs, tracing back to ancient times. According to Jewish law, only nine red heifers have been sacrificed since the era of Moses. The ashes of the red heifer were utilized in a purification ceremony to cleanse individuals from ritual impurity caused by contact with deceased bodies. These sacrifices were conducted by prominent figures throughout history, such as Moses, Ezra, Simon the Just, Yishmael ben Piavi, and Hanamel the Egyptian, among others. Each sacrifice marked a crucial moment in the religious narrative, with the anticipation of the 10th red heifer being particularly noteworthy, as it is believed to play a pivotal role in the purification rituals essential for the reconstruction of the Third Temple in Jerusalem. The forthcoming red heifer sacrifice is not a solitary event. Instead, a total of five red heifers have been selected to meet specific criteria. These heifers must exhibit precise qualities, including being completely red without any black or white hairs, being virgins, aged between 34 to 38 months, and approximately three years old at the time of sacrifice. The meticulous adherence to these criteria underscores the importance attached to this ritual within Jewish tradition. The selection and preparation of these red heifers have been meticulously planned, with the sacrifice scheduled to occur between the months of March and July. The act of sacrificing the red heifer is deeply rooted in Jewish tradition, serving as a fundamental practice associated with the construction of the Holy Temple. The ashes of the red heifer are believed to possess purifying properties essential for sanctifying the tools used in the temple's construction. The meticulous observance of the specific terms and conditions surrounding the sacrifice underscores its historical and religious significance, with the ritual taking place after a span of two millennia, emphasizing its rarity and importance in the eyes of believers. According to interpretations derived from the Holy Torah, the sacrifice of the red heifer marks the commencement of a series of prophesied events known as the End Times. This sequence of events is believed to unfold in the following manner. 1. Sacrifice of the red heifer. 2. Purification of the tools. 3. Demolition of Al-Aqsa. 4. Construction of the Third Temple. 5. Arrival of the Messiah. 6. Arrival of Imam Mehdi. 7. Arrival of Ayasa. 8. Kayama. The anticipated sacrifice of the 10th red heifer, scheduled for the middle of this year between March and June, will involve the burning of its skin, flesh, blood, bones, and associated belongings. These remnants will be mixed with pure water, a crucial element in the purification process. The purified water will be used to cleanse the priest overseeing the sacrifice, following which it will be sprinkled seven times around the foundation of the third temple symbolizing the advent of the messianic era associated with the arrival of the false messiah, also known as Dajjal. The sacrificial ritual is designated to take place on the Mount of Olives, connecting to the temple via the Kidron Valley, a location steeped in historical and religious significance. The selection and transportation of the red heifers, characterized by their spotless, pure, and virgin qualities, from Texas to Israel, underscores the meticulous planning and execution associated with this sacred act. Prophecies surrounding the emergence of Dajjal, described as hailing from a Jewish lineage, blind in one eye and marked with the word kafir on his forehead, further add layers of anticipation and speculation to the unfolding events. It is foretold that Dajjal will assert his authority by conquering Jerusalem and embarking on a global journey, entering every city except Mecca and Medina, as part of a larger narrative leading to significant spiritual and eschatological outcomes. As these events unfold and the red heifer sacrifice approaches, the convergence of religious beliefs, historical narratives, and prophetic interpretations intertwine to create a tapestry of anticipation and significance for believers and observers alike. The culmination of these rituals and prophecies is poised to usher in a period of profound spiritual transformation and upheaval, as envisioned in the sacred texts and traditions that guide the beliefs and practices of those involved in these momentous events.